What's up everybody, thanks for joining me for my very first comic book pickup video. This video is going to be for February 27th, 2013. Got some DC and Marvel books here today. Um, let's just get right into the books. First up, Flash finishing up the Gorilla Grodd arc. In my opinion, for New 52, Flash started off really strong, but with the Gorilla Grodd, I honestly can't wait for it to be over so we can move on to the next thing. So, definitely looking forward to getting that out of the way. Uh, next up, Aquaman 17, the Thrones of Atlantis epilogue. Hey, I haven't had much time lately, so I haven't gotten a chance to read the last issue of Justice League, which finished off Thrones of Atlantis, but I have loved Aquaman since the start of the New 52. Cannot wait to get to that. Next up, Red Lantern 17. I know a lot of people aren't the biggest fans of the Red Lantern series so far. Um, one of the main reasons that I pick it up is for Miguel Sepulveda. Probably butchered that last name, but his artwork, I absolutely love it. I think it's one of the strongest, most detailed arts, maybe aside from Greg Capullo on Batman. Um, last issue, they had a different person doing the coloring, so it was kind of like a downgrade, but this issue looks like he's back on full, duty, full art duties can't wait to just read it and soak in all the awesome artwork in that. Um, next up for DC, Injustice Gods Among Us issue 2. I haven't been, I don't do digital comics. I prefer physical copies. Um, so this is my first time reading these stories. But I did pick up issue 1. Uh, can't wait to read issue 2. Really dark story so far. Um, I really didn't care about Injustice until, until they started showing off the story trailers. Now, after seeing the story trailers and reading this, I cannot wait for the game. Might actually pre-order the Collector's Edition, and if I do, I'm probably going to do an unboxing video of that. We'll see. Last for DC, Batman, Batman Inc. Issue 8. I'm guilty of not having read Batman Inc. before the New 52. I'm pretty much new to weekly collecting American comics since the New 52. Um, so this is definitely going to impact me, but not as much as all the people who have been following Batman since Grant Morrison started his huge epic how many years ago. But someday I will go back and reread everything, all the Batman Grant Morrison. I love it so far, and... Can't wait to see if this issue lives up to all the internet commotion and hype since DC spoiled it for us, but that's another story. Moving on to Marvel. First up, Young Avengers, woo, issue two. I'm still a little bit unsure about this book, just kind of not my cup of tea. like the art. Um, I'm sticking around for a couple issues to see if I actually, see if it really grabs me. Hopefully this one will be a little bit better than the first. But that's just me. Um, next, Deadpool Illustrated issue two. The first issue I wasn't a big fan of. I really liked the original Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe, but Illustrated so far, it's funny, but not as cool as I think Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe was. Next up is Guardians of the Galaxy. 0 0.1. Um, I love Brian Michael Bendis, so hopefully he's gonna wow me with this like he usually does. Um, I've never really read any cosmic comics before aside from DC with Green Lantern. Um, really looking forward to take that, taking this stuff into the cosmic universe. Definitely hope it grabs me like it will everything else. Um, next Avenging Spider-Man issue 17. Avenging Spider-Man, the, what was it, the last issue was the pretty much first real appearance of Superior Spider-Man, kind of. And I think that did a better job of showing off Superior Spider-Man, what can be, what kind of stories can be told with him. So I'm hoping issue 17 continues that tradition, because I, I really like the last issue. 
think this one's going to be hopefully just as good. Plus it's going to have the Future Foundation. Who doesn't love the Future Foundation? Apparently not me since I also picked up FF issue 4 this week. Um, that cover actually really creepy to me. But anyway, can't wait to read this. I've been absolutely loving this so far. Um, never read any Fantastic Four comics or anything either. Didn't know too much about the Future Foundation whenever I first came into this, but was able to pick it right up, and so far I'm loving it. Uh, next up, X-Men Legacy Issue 6. This was a co another comic that I started collecting. I didn't know anything about Legion. Um, some of the issues so far have been hit or miss, but it's still overall entertaining. I really hope they start delving into what really goes on in his head and how he's going to get all these powers under control. Can't wait to see if that happens here soon. That's issue six. Um, next up is Uncanny X-Men issue two. Like I said before, I love Bendis, so... And I, I, since... Avengers vs. X-Men, I've absolutely loved the X-Men universe. Can't get enough of it right now. Plus, I'm actually a really big fan of Pachalo's art, too. A lot of people don't like his big, blocky, or stocky type characters, but I really like the cartoony look to it. Can't wait to read that. Next, finally, finally, Uncanny Avengers issue 4. This has been such a slow drag, and I almost dropped this book just because of how long it's been coming to taking to come out and I don't think John Cassidy's art in this is really good enough to warrant it coming out so far in between issues um so far the story's been pretty good but still not really worth the wait so we're gonna see if this does anything to change my mind on that if not I might be trade waiting the rest of that series. And finally, last book of the week, which any week that Hawkeye comes out is absolutely amazing. Hawkeye issue 8. Every single issue of this series has been amazing. I can't wait to read this. This is pretty much top on my pile to read. Um, it's just the perfect mix of action and comedy. I can't get enough of this series, and I can't recommend it enough. If any, if nobody's read this, I think the first trade's out, or it's coming out here soon. If you haven't read it, love comics. Even if you don't care about Hawkeye, I didn't care about him at all. I had no interest in him, but this completely changed my mind. I hope this book lasts forever and stays the quality that it, that it is. And that's it for my comic book picks up pickups for this week hopefully if this video does well and i get a little bit more a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera sorry if this has been a little awkward but that'll come with time i'm gonna be ho hopefully be doing these pick pickup videos every week because i do go to the comic book shop every wednesday to pick up my books and this was actually a pretty average week for me